What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to uh, make a video real quick and talk to you guys. Let you know what's been going on with me, what's been going on with the channel. Not much, uh, actually, in the channel department. But I wanted to talk to you guys about that briefly. Let you know uh, what I've been thinking about, what I've been focused on, and getting back into YouTube. Because that's really what I want to title this video, getting back into this. A few months ago, I made a video about YouTube output and, and me making more videos. Shortly after I made that video, I decided personally that it was time to take a short break from YouTube. I told my wife that I hadn't really spent much time with her, uh, you know, my spare time other than maybe the weekends. I was taking every Saturday to do a ton of videos for the week. You know, I worked 10, 12 hours a day. And I took a break. I took a what I thought would be a week or two break. But it it kind of snowballed into this crazy situation where here I am like two and a half, three months later where I feel like I've probably put out 10 videos. <laughs> it's kind of a crazy situation when you think about it. I want to talk to you guys about that, explain to you what YouTube, what I, what I consider YouTube fatigue is and how it's affected me. Uh, I started my YouTube channel in 2013 uh, and I always wanted to be a content creator. I want to always share my thoughts with you guys on videos uh, concerning video games and things of that nature. And I got to the point in YouTube where I was making multiple videos a week, trying to put out a video every day for a majority of the time that I did this. And when I took a break, finally, it was a completely different feeling. I didn't think about making videos. I didn't think about capturing footage. I didn't think about the news. I didn't watch the news. I was just completely oblivious to what was going on for a few weeks. And I played games to enjoy those games. I, I got a time, you know, a chance to watch movies again. Uh, with my wife and with my kids and going out and doing things where usually that time was put aside for me to create content. So I, I think that a huge part of what's happened to me is that I, I stepped away and I started to really enjoy myself. I started to really enjoy uh, being able to just have fun versus put in effort and work in my studio making videos. And that, I think that's kind of taught me a huge lesson. Uh, that when you want to make an omelet, you gotta crack a few eggs. You gotta get back on the horse. For many years, I've seen friends of mine on YouTube, great friends, uh, step away from YouTube, and I always wonder why. You know, I, I wonder what happened. Why did you stop doing this? It seems like you're so great at it. Why would you quit doing it? And now I kind of understand what happened to people. Uh, you know, when you do something for so long, for so many years, and you put so much of yourself into it. And then you finally take a second to take a breath. You you enjoy that breath. You enjoy that breather. You enjoy being able to lounge around your house on an off day and just hang out with your family or go have a picnic or go to the drive-in or go do something fun, go shopping. And for me, a lot of that stuff was negated by the, the fact that I was so focused on YouTube. YouTube fatigue for me is about to be over. Um, I've, I've been looking in the mirror lately and wondering, what does this mean? What is, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my channel? Am I going to continue down this path of minimal content creation? Or, or, or am I going to reinvigorate my channel and create something new and create something exciting for you guys? And I think I got the answer to it. I'm definitely going to be doing YouTube. I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be getting with some of my friends uh, from the Beastly Thought Show and the Revolver Podcast to help me figure out exactly what I need to do as far as uh, getting my streaming equipment together and getting everything optimized for me to stream. Uh, I also am creating a new series called uh, Horror Craft, which is centered around Minecraft. I know people saw my trailer and probably wondered what it was. It is going to be a story-based uh, series based on real-life experiences that can be anything, uh, you know, strange or macabre. If, you, if something weird has happened to someone and they've written it down, then I want to create that story in Minecraft and narrate it and make it really fucking creepy. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, another aspect of what's happened to me that I think has kind of pushed me away from doing YouTube is, okay, I bought my house in February. I love this place. I love my office. It's beautiful. I, every time I look around in here, it's like everything I could have ever dreamed of as far as a gamer goes. I love this place. It's beautiful. The walls are the same color as a PS1. <laughs> and so... For me, coming in here was so different than being in my apartment. In my apartment, everything was in one place, the living room. I did all my live streams there. I did all my videos there. I'd sit on the floor, put my Blue Yeti microphone next to me, and my laptop, and I would just go. My wife would be sitting there. My daughters would be running back and forth. My sons would be in their room. And I still felt like I was a part of the unit. I was a part 
of that family. Even though I worked all day, I'd come home, do some videos in front of everybody. Everybody would hear what I'm talking about. And it seemed kind of like a family affair. Now, you know, I have a studio at the end of my house. It's far away from everybody else. You got to walk through the kitchen to get to the house. And so I'm here alone. And when I'm doing videos, I'm in this beautiful environment with lights everywhere. And, you know, I've got a nice setup and 4K monitors, but I'm away from my family and I've gotten kind of used to being around them. Uh, creating videos and creating content and, and having, you know, a dialogue back and forth with my wife about certain stories I was doing. That thing has kind of been negated with me being in the studio all the time. And so for me, what has happened is on top of the YouTube fatigue, when I come home and something, you know, interesting has happened in the gaming world and I want to talk about it, I'm sitting in the living room. I just got off of work. I go take a shower. I come out. I'm tired from working. I sit on the couch and I'm like, well, I see my kids here. I got a newborn kid. My wife's sitting on the other couch, you know, doing her college work or whatever she's doing. And I'm like, well, I'm getting ready to get up out of here and walk into that studio for a couple hours. And by the time I come out, my kids will be asleep and my wife will be wondering why she hasn't seen me all day. And so for me, it's been kind of a mental hurdle to get over that aspect of it, to come in here by myself, leave everything outside and do my videos. But it's something I'm willing to do. Uh, I'm going to compartmentalize everything in my life and get it to where it needs to be as far as priority. You guys are a priority to me. I love YouTube. I love content creation and I'm going to love streaming. I think that, uh, I think I have kind of a personality that's kind of magnetic. I think people like me. And so more than likely people will watch my streams and, and enjoy those. So look out for that information, uh, in, in a very soon future video. But I want to let you guys know, uh, I'm coming back. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the exact same amount or the exact same type of videos. Definitely horror crap is going to be a big part of my channel. I think that's going to be really, really big. If you guys have any crazy stories you'd like to share, send them to the real beastly gamer at gmail.com and I'll make sure I get it there uh, on the show for you guys. But I wanted to talk to you guys, let you guys know exactly what's happening uh, and let you guys know how I feel about this and let you know that I've been thinking about this and I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not upset about YouTube. I'm, I mean, of course, the monetary compensation could be better, especially with the new changes that have happened. But I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I love what I've built here, and I'm so thankful that you guys have been here to build it with me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I apologize. I know it's been kind of slow on the channel. I've been doing one or two videos a week, and that's really not me. And I've been thinking about that, and I've been thinking about you guys. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel, please. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support me and my efforts for the future, visit the Patreon. There's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.